My name is Eureka Robinson and today I would like to talk about our multimedia use in economics. The Department of Economics have uh, started a short learning program or would like to start a short learning program which offers learning just in time and just enough to the student. It's also to bridge the gap between third year and honours but very important we would like to use it as a foundation certificate for industry and government. Why then have we decided on multimedia use for the different modules in the short learning program? These days it's not just about multimedia assisting learning, rather the question should be how multimedia assists learning. Uh, it's common that computers assist in structural design and offer cost-effective and efficient delivery methods. This is by Hastings and Tracy. Hay and Marie also found that multimedia offer further support to students, especially in the case of bridging programs. And in this case, it's all important. In terms of the design and the methodology, we're going to use the ADDIE model by Boyd and Friesen. It basically says you first need to analyze your needs, then you need to design and develop the multimedia, and at the end of the day you need to also evaluate the multimedia in terms of your needs. The different modules that we're going to include for the short learning program is intermediate microeconomics at third year level, it's all at third year level, and this will be the responsibility of the first lecturer intermediate macroeconomics by the second lecturer, intermediate econometrics by the third lecturer, and research methodology and data analysis also pitched at third year level by the fourth lecturer. <coughs> Excuse me. In terms of the implementation, I've opted to be the project leader. I've already asked the four lecturers in the department to assist. Our time schedule is six months from January to June 2018 and we've already sourced some of the multimedia for example video clips, slideshows, uh, web tutorials we're planning to use on Zoom and also open educational resources for example MIT course, open courseware. All of this offer convenience, cost saved and eco-friendliness. To make it easier for our students, we normally provide the links to video clips on YouTube. If we do not have the video clips on YouTube, we uh, make the video clips ourselves on Camtasia, the way I'm presenting the video clip today. Uh, in this case, for example, microeconomics, the learning unit 2, is all in terms of elasticity. In this case, demand, supply and prices. And the video link, the, the link to the video is then offered to the student in the study material. In terms of the slideshows, in this case, I've provided you with a screenshot um, of some of the examples of our slideshows. In this case, it's short run versus long run elasticity. In microeconomics, uh, it's all about the weather in Brazil and how it affects the price of coffee in New York over the longer run. In this case, is, if there's droughts, the price will soar, but over the longer run, it will fall again and stabilize. In the Department of Economics, then, the way forward with uh, the multimedia in the short learning program, we've um, basically done some studies and we found that first and second year micro and macroeconomics are predictors of success for third years. And that's why we have used micro and macroeconomics as foundation of this short learning program. Hay and Marie also found that the success of a bridging program depends on further support, for example, through multimedia. Later on, we would like to look at the effect of curriculum and online intervention through multimedia on the final marks of our st students and also the success of our students. If you want more on my references, you can take a look at this.
And that is then all for today. Thank you.